once again, I have no idea where I am. I'm probably in North Carolina or South Carolina, not really sure. I think I took a wrong turn. Incredible. I had no idea that the Palace of Versailles was actually in Warsaw. Yes, of course, they're a ship of fools. But the question remains, what kind of fools are they? I'm enjoying a lovely Thousand Islands boat cruise but because of global warming, the levels uh, go up and down uh, the, of the seawater, the St. Lawrence. So at any time, there could be about uh, 40 islands or 5,000 islands, uh, depending on the actual uh, sea level. Thank you, global warming. I just made that up. Eh? One of the more intriguing and enigmatic stories of the Thousand Islands happened in 1732 when an Irishman by the name of John Hi, Hendrickson III decided, to come, decided to come system. here and look for treasure, but the treasure, I, I can't, I can't. Today, St. Lawrence stands over the okay. river you want, bears his name, you want. offering a touch of serenity to all who pass by. Oh, for goodness sake, I mean, I'm the only one here. Why are they doing this announcement for? so it's only fairly recent, allowed for uh, Canadian perch to actually live on the United States side of the uh, Thousand Islands. And up until that point, uh, Canadian fish were not allowed to freely migrate uh, down to uh, visit their southern uh, neighbors. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> Just getting back to that story I was trying to tell earlier about John Hendrickson III in 1732 came all the way from Ireland to, to set up a shop in, in Gananoque and uh, really create a center of industry that was unsurpassed by, that was unsurpassed by any of the uh, coastal communities of the St. Oh. And President Franklin D. that announcement coming from what? what the hell? They're following me.